Albert Einstein, the genius of the 20th century, was and is known worldwide for his brilliant research. In his famous letter to God, he asks some of the most profound questions of mankind, what or who is the Creator? How can we understand him? Today we will look at Einstein's words and try to learn more about the Creator and his role in our universe as Albert Einstein perceived it. You have probably heard many times about Albert Einstein, one of the greatest geniuses of our time, and know him as the famous physicist who developed the theory of relativity. But did you also know that he was intensely concerned with the question of the Creator? In a 1954 letter to philosopher Eric Gutkind, Einstein wrote, I do not believe in a personal God and have never denied it. The idea of a personal God is alien to me and does not seem sufficient to explain the mysteries of the universe. This statement shows that Einstein had a very sophisticated view on the subject of religion. In the remainder of this article, we will take a closer look at Einstein's thoughts and opinions and try to understand his view on the question of a creator. You may never have heard of Albert Einstein's famous letter to God. In it he describes his view of the Creator. In this letter, Einstein expresses his belief that although the universe was created by a Creator, the Creator represents a higher power that governs the universe in its entirety. Einstein's letter to God is a fascinating document that shows how a genius like Einstein grappled with the question of the existence of a Creator. It is remarkable that even a scientist like Einstein, who was known for his rational approaches, believed in the existence of a creator. The letter to God is an important contribution to the debate on the relationship between science and religion and shows that the two are not necessarily in conflict. Imagine being faced with a great mystery, the origin of the universe. Since time immemorial, People have wondered how everything came into being and whether there is a God or a Creator. Even Albert Einstein struggled with this question for a long time. Belief in a personal God may not have been important to him, but he could certainly imagine that there was a Creator who set the universe in motion. But how exactly that happened, even he could not answer. So the question of the origin of the universe remained an unsolved mystery even for a genius like Einstein. But perhaps it is precisely this question that spurs us on to further research and to keep asking who or what created us and our universe. Rather, Einstein viewed the laws of nature as expressions of God's creation and emphasized the importance of science and reason in exploring the universe. Einstein's view shows that faith and science are not necessarily in conflict and that it is possible to recognize a spiritual dimension in nature without following religious dogma. Albert Einstein was a man who was intensively concerned with the question of the Creator. His religion played an important role in this. Although Einstein was Jewish, he distanced himself from the Jewish religion and considered himself an agnostic. Nevertheless, he believed in a higher power that created the universe. This belief influenced his view of the world and his scientific thinking. Einstein believed that there was an order in the universe that was directed by a higher power. His concept of God was more of a cosmic principle. Einstein viewed the laws of nature as a manifestation of this higher power and saw it as his task to discover and understand these laws. Overall, religion had a great influence on Einstein's thinking and his conception of the universe. It is important to note that Einstein did not attempt to prove or disprove belief in God. Instead, he was trying to understand and describe the laws of nature that govern the universe. In his letter, he wrote, I believe in Spinoza's God revealed in the harmonious order of being, not in a God concerned with man's fate and actions. In other words, Einstein believed in a God who manifests himself in the structure of the universe, not a God who intervenes in people's daily lives. For him, Science was a way to understand and marvel at the beauty and complexity of the universe. Science and religion are often seen as incompatible. But Albert Einstein showed in his letter that this is not necessarily the case. He emphasized that science and religion are not mutually exclusive, but can complement each other. Einstein thus made an important contribution to improving the relationship between religion and science. He showed that the two approaches can be united and that they can enrich each other. 
Einstein was a genius in his field, and his thoughts and ideas still influence science and philosophy today. He was never concerned with a particular religion, but with exploring the universe and the laws of nature. His concept of God was characterized by awe and admiration for the beauty and complexity of the world. We can learn from Einstein the importance of grappling with such questions and developing our own ideas about the concept of God. It is a question that not only challenges us intellectually, but can also enrich us spiritually.